All right, guys, what's up? And I deleted my other video about the Homebrew 2.8 beta update because I left out the most important part of the video that is needed for you to actually update from 2.7 to 2.8. So what you're gonna need is a copy of Cubic Ninja. So as long as you have a copy of Cubic Ninja or if you have a gateway card, and with Cubic Ninja in it, then that will work. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're gonna come to this page. I'll leave a link to the description. And you can read it if you want, but <clears throat> it's pretty straightforward, okay? So as of now, it does not work with Ocarina of Time, which is o which is OT hacks or OTT hacks, whatever you wanna call it. And the only way you could get it on Ocarina of Time is if you actually have this one first and then the installer will actually work and you can start on the digital copy or the actual cartridge okay so we're gonna need the homebrew starter kit so let's download it okay now open up your SD card and you're gonna see I don't really extract the files because it's only 3ds themes and boot that we need so just get these three folders here I mean two folders and a file and drag it into your SD card and if you already had homebrew of course then replace the files and it should be 10 seconds or less all right <clears throat> now perfect now step one is done step two here comes the the hardest part well, not hardest but the most annoying part okay select your 3ds firmware so if you have an old 3ds and 2ds you're gonna select the old payload okay so you're gonna select 11.2.0 point 35 okay and e u j for europe usa japan i don't know if it works for korea i'm not sure you could try it out but i'm pretty sure it does because it does support it it does have the k for korea so whatever your firmware is for your 3ds the way you look the way you find it is You go to your system settings and down here you'll you're gonna see version 11.2.0-35 and whatever letter your 3ds ends with so that's gonna be the firmware you're gonna be using okay same thing goes for the new 3ds so if you have the new 3ds make sure you select the new 3ds insert the whatever payload you have under 11.2.35 and whatever letter your 3ds ends with okay so remember old 3ds and 2ds are going to be using the old payload all right so 11.2.0.35 that's going to be mine okay all right now of course, I'm, U I'm in USA, or my 3DS is uh, American region. So I'm gonna press update QR code. Okay, so next step. So we're gonna be scanning all 16 QR codes. Make sure you do not skip one. Make sure you do not scan it twice because that's gonna ruin it. And if it doesn't work, then you skip one, you scan one twice and you don't want to do that okay so let this load here <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut off the video after I show you guys what to do when you scan the QR code okay so now since we're in the game press the L and R buttons on top X and Y together just hold it for a couple seconds and it's gonna 
bring up this menu. Do you want to delete all data? Make sure you press yes or select yes. All right, deleting, do not, all right. So we're good. Even though you had homebrew before on Cubic Ninja, you want to delete your data. So that way the new 2.8 update could be installed into your 3DS. So we're gonna go to create. All right, we're gonna go to QR code. And give me a second here. I'm gonna put the screens together. Okay, this is the most probably annoying part that you gotta do. So we're gonna scan the QR code. So make sure you scan it. As you can see, the little message on bottom disappeared so once that is gone just press B and go to your next QR code right here all right we're gonna scan QR code and as you can see make sure the entire QR code is contained on the screen in order to scan so once that message is gone then you're successfully um, scanned a QR code so this could be quite annoying but All right, come on. Okay, come on. Okay, as you can see, the message is gone. Then you can press B to go back and go to the next. And yeah, so you're gonna scan all 16 QR codes and I'll be back. So I'm just gonna cut off so I could do the whole thing because it's gonna take forever. All right guys, so I'm gonna be scanning the last QR code. This should be the last QR code I scan and it should be good to go. All right, let me move this out of the way. All right. Okay, so now the QR codes are scanned, all 16 of them. All right, let's open it again. And this should launch homebrew perfectly. All right, so I'm on 2.7, <clears throat> I mean 2.8. All right, so save manager will not come with the game i mean will not come in homebrew so i'll leave a link to the description for save manager and save manager goes into the 3ds folder from the homebrew starter kit that's where you place the folder that's pretty much it so save manager works as you can see i'm gonna switch games and if i open omega ruby it will not give us a yellow screen all right as you can see so i'm gonna go with let's see pokemon super mercury dungeon i know that was giving me a yellow screen as well well basically all the games were except pokemon x y sun and moon all right so as you can see we get no yellow screen with any game so far so now for the people and the doubters that say they get yellow screens with sun and moon and the only reason you're getting that is because you're pretty much on a old update and you're not on the current update so that's your issue right there as you can see i have the cartridge you're gonna hear the click when i take it out all right so that's pokemon sun i do not own any digital games except zelda link between worlds which came with my game and i've done from cartridge uh, ott hacks and then imported to the digital and it worked all right so i'm gonna insert moon all right so all my games are cartridges like i said and there's pokemon moon 
and it reads everything perfectly. So say manager is working. All right. <clears throat> now, for if you have a randomizer for Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, then it's working now. You can use Brain Dump, which basically lets you randomize your game. So I'm going to go to Hans. I'm going to open up Omega Ruby. As you can see, no yellow screen. All right, so everything should load. And Randomizer is now working on Hans for Sun and Moon. Uh, from what I've heard, Hans uh, needs work for Sun and Moon. I mean, I could dump the file, but it will not let me go into the randomizer. Pretty sure it's the same steps as Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, which I kind of executed, but it, will, it wouldn't let me boot up Hans correctly. All right, as you can see, my randomizer is working perfectly. Let's see what we encounter. Of course, we can't get a Latias in the wild. All right, so we got a Roselia. Uh, Roselia is not in this route. Should be my chop, ponytail. Mm. I forgot what else. All right. All right, so we got an Oddish. I think Oddish is in this part of the route, or I could be wrong. I'm just gonna go through whatever apps I basically get asked for that they're not working and on the new update they do work so again Roselia all right so we're gonna try to get something else all right hopefully something different now so we got a Torchic there and as you can see Torchic is not even you can't even get in the wild. All right. So now, <clears throat> as you can see, everything's working so far from what I've used it for. So for me, 100% successful, but they're working on it. So more things could be improved. All right. So I'm going to reboot my 3DS now. And... I'm gonna go down Cubic Ninja. No, you know what? I'm gonna go to Ocarina of Time. So you guys can see that I still got 2.7 on this one and not 2.8. Alright, so. We're gonna load these hacks right here. As you can see, hacks 2.7 gamma. So we don't have the beta yet. And if we go to save manager, we try to insert, um, not Pokemon Sun or Moon because they work. Um, Omega Ruby, it's not gonna work. It's gonna crash. I mean yellow screen see the new 2.8 update basically bypassed all that all right so you can see it's none of that apps work on 2.7 so you gotta update on 2.8 so saying this I'm gonna load cubic ninja and I'm gonna install 2.8 on Ocarina of Time and it's gonna work Alright, so let's boot up Ninjax here. Alright, so homebrew 2.8 should be loaded. As you can see, 2.8 beta. So 
because since the newest one it has to be done through inch hex all right now also once you have your ocarina of time you can use the digital copy from the eShop or the cartridge itself so we're going to go to the installer here exploit installer for the ocarina of time 3d hacks so we're going to open up the installer on 2.7 it's not going to open it's, gonna, it's just going to give you the yellow screen all right so i'm going to press a and then we select up and down to select what slot so slot one was 2.7 i'm gonna install it in slot three all right i'm gonna press a to continue select your firmware even though if you're using the old 3ds you could use it or 2ds you could do it for your friend and select the new 3ds and it'll automatically install a payload for that version for his 3ds all right so i'm gonna go select it usually picks whatever firmware is detected on your 3ds all right so everything looks perfectly all right so make sure you have your internet connection on and current status successfully wrote to file okay so i'm going to press start now all right i'm going to return back home So let's load Ocarina of Time. So remember, slot 1, 2.7, slot 3, it's going to be 2.8. So you can see. I'm going to press start now. And hex 2.8 beta loaded. Alright, and that's pretty much it.